Welcome back on the Space Info Club. Today, in this special edition of this episode, we talk about the Scrabble launch of the Boeing Style Liner. Indeed, as you can see on the screen, if you're looking at it on the video, you can see the um, CEO and president of the United Launch Alliance, Tony Bruno, who is uh, talking about the, the launch, which was scrapped, while on the right, you can see NASA YouTube channel uh, with the um, crew procedures while the launch was yet the scheduled yesterday. Um, but uh, so we go direct directly to the point. If you appreciate this kind of news uh, content, both the podcast or the YouTube video, please subscribe uh, to the YouTube channel or the Spotify channel and uh, leave a review or a like or let us know that you are appreciating this kind of content. So we can just commit more and give you more content of this ki- of this kind. So uh, which was the problem? Let's uh, go straight to the point. Um, the problem was a venting valve inside uh, the fuel tank of the rocket. So Point Starliner uh, spacecraft didn't experience any problem and um, everything was nominal uh, until uh, the, the scrubbing of the of the launch itself uh, on the side of the of the capsule i recalling that uh, it, uh, it should have been a, a manned uh, crew flight so uh, the, uh, two people sunita Mi- uh, williams uh, among the, the two uh, was part of the crew and the launch was uh, uh, scheduled to uh, to depart from uh, cape canaveral and uh, to dock to the international space station for a week uh, a mission uh, uh, that should have lasted around a week on board and then uh, the two astronauts should have landed again safely on Earth uh, with the same capsule, the Boeing Starliner. So uh, the problem with the venting valve uh, inside the rocket uh, was due to... uh, the root cause is not yet clear but uh, we know that uh, during the the final phases of of the preparation of the launch some mechanical problem uh, of the valve caused it to cycle between the open and closed position and therefore um, uh, it, it was not clear the, the root cause of the of that glitch so uh, the complete the, the the fuel loading procedure couldn't have, couldn't have been completed nominally as it was forecast and uh, as Tony Bruno said uh, in the press conference if there was a satellite inside the, the flaring of the rocket they probably should have uh, they would probably actuate some kind of procedure for example but this is just an example they could have uh, unloaded some propellant in order to retest the proper functioning of the valve itself but clearly you cannot do this use this procedure if you have people on board for example because uh, some uh, fuel leakage some uh, gases can be released into atmosphere and when you have people around that uh, uh, that condition uh, for sure uh, safety procedures are much more uh, strict and so you cannot actuate kind of that kind of procedure so um, all, all we know now uh, is that the valve was not instrumented so ac- accelerometers and sensor are not mounted on board that valve so we don't have a direct data for example vibrational data uh, open close sta- uh, statuses of the valve itself but uh, we can uh, uh, some kind of uh, uh, infer the, this data from the surrounding uh, accelerometers and sensor so the investigation are still ongoing up to the uh, re- reattempt of the launch itself so what's uh, uh, the key message of this uh, scrabble uh, scrabble launch uh, the key message is that uh, safety is is uh, yet is again first particularly when you have people on board again if uh, there was a satellite probably they would have reattempted the launch but this was not the case so safety first and uh, yes uh, uh, and another thing is that uh, uh, if, you, if we want to dig deeper into the design of this valve, uh, particularly uh, this, the, the venting valves, if you come from uh, the aviation world, for sure you, you'll know that uh, uh, venting valves in uh, fuel tanks on board, for example, of airplanes are, uh, are 
um, an own design or an own device for sure so uh, you you are trying to keep these valves uh, basically almost always open uh, due to the uh, pressure variation that you can experience while flying for example your airplane if you are flying at a low altitude and then uh, due to a maneuver you reach higher altitude for sure the uh, atmospheric pressure uh, changes but if you keep the pressure inside your tank for example due to the present of fuel but also of uh, uh, gases uh, that are released from the fuel or just from uh, atmospheric air inside the fuel itself if you are not uh, uh, balancing the pressure from uh, the inside to the outside uh, environment you can experience an overpressure of the tank and if the structure is not strong enough or for example the pressure difference is too high for the structure to bear with uh, you can just destroy your tank and with uh, for sure fatal consequences if you are thinking about some example you can uh, think about some Boeing 737 accident so I'm talking about airplanes of uh, uh, maybe 20 30 years ago when uh, the uh, fuselage of this airplane uh, was just simply destroyed due to uh, pressure differences uh, okay the root cause in that case was uh, a structural failure which was classified as minor structural failure but then propagated into the fuselage itself and the pressure variation caused basically uh, an explosion of the uh, structure of the fuselage with uh, fatal consequences for uh, uh, some people on board so for sure this is a quite a, of uh, um, let's say uh, abrupt example but the principle is almost the same so uh, these uh, venting valves are crucial in order to maintain the desired pressure uh, when you are designing your system so uh, for sure you cannot neglect uh, that failure that glitch uh, when you're launching people in, uh, in orbit and uh, so basically this is uh, the, the cause of the launch which was grabbed so again if you are appreciating this kind of content please uh, consider subscribing to the youtube channel and also to the spotify uh, channel of space info this motivates us a lot to keep going with this kind of content and uh, supplying you this kind of news in a, in a very strict matter of time. So that's, uh, that's basically all for today. If you want to know more about the, uh, the glitch, we can add it always uh, thanks to the words of uh, Tori Bruno that uh, uh, they are they experienced this kind of glitch and the valve was cycling between the open and closed condition uh, a lot of times uh, in a very uh, reduced time span so uh, it was almost but it is not yet clear uh, we uh, me for sure i don't have data to sustain this hypothesis uh, it was almost a, a redundancy uh, case uh, of the valve so basically this is all we know now for sure they are investigating the next schedule the next attempt for the for this same flight with the uh, two astronauts on board is scheduled for wednesday the 10th of may so they have some days to investigate then reattempt the the full launch procedure so propellant will be uh, again uh, loaded into the the launcher and uh, parameters will be monitored and then uh, we hope that uh, the launch will be successful and people uh, and the two astronauts will be launched and uh, and then again uh, stay tuned with the uh, space info we'll see what will happen thank you for listening thank you for being with us have a nice evening